So the other day I was contacted by an event and this event, they, uh, well I told them it was $15,000 and normally when I quote a fee from an event, they go into a sequence. So I put them into a sequence to follow up. I send them all these emails in terms of follow up, right? And the reason is because whenever you quote an event, they, a lot of times they just won't respond back to your emails. You quote them and now it's just like, all right, let's just wait for a million years and not hit them up and let's leave them hanging and let's ghost them. And so you, you tend, you gotta put them into a follow-up sequence. So that's what I normally do. But with this event, what I've noticed with a lot of events in the past as well, is I wouldn't follow up as hard as I used to. And the reason is because I was contacted by another event. And so the other event, I quoted them $20,000. It was the same date. And so um, they said like, hey, can you hold the date? And I, I told them like, no, I, I can't hold the date because I got someone else who's interested in the same date. So first come, first serve. And I noticed that that's what would happen with all my previous events. I contacted so many events that it got to a point where I wasn't needy, needy of any one of those events. So I wouldn't need to follow up with anyone because it was more at a level of, I'm only interested in talking with the people who want to hire me now, this very second. I don't wanna to have to sit there and try to convince you. I don't wanna to have to send you a gazillion emails. If, if I can get to a point where I have so many events in my pipeline that I don't need this one event, then I don't need to follow up with this one, this one event specifically because I have so much going on. And so you gotta get to a point where you are contacting so many events, you don't need any one of them to do anything. You don't need to keep following up. And the way you do that is, um, honestly, if you don't have a vent finder, you need to get a vent finder because everything is in there in terms of finding, contacting. You got to fill up your pipeline to a point where um, no event is, is um, like no event, is, you, you're just not desperate for events. You, you have to basically fill up your pipeline to a point where you're just not desperate. And um, I'm looking out over here because there was some helicopter, it literally would fly like literally right here below my place. Um, uh, yeah, that has absolutely nothing to do with what I just said. But, but basically, uh, you, you want to get to a point where you, you have so many events in your pipeline that you just don't need to contact any one of them. Or, well, you don't need to keep following up with any one of them. And the way you do that is you're just constantly sending out emails nonstop, just all day, every day. And you get to a point where it's like, hey, I can't hold dates. Um, I'm not desperate for your event because I've got another event. I know I can fill up my time with another event. And so, oh, there's the helicopter. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's right, right there somewhere. I, I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, get to that point in your business.